Shalom. Ka la yam la yahawa. Ba shem yahushai. Ba shem rakakotash. Double ones unto yield us apostles of great millstone. Yield us on down. Shalom. See you since the Akim, the whole food elect. Who are laboring across the four winds with us forever. Our power, Yahawa. Ba shem yahushai. Has scattered us in these last days. Okay, as we have been gathered by the word of the Holy One. Okay, through the Spirit, the, the Comforter, which is prophesied to come after the uh, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach ascending into the heavens of heavens, sitting on the right hand side, on the right hand side, uh, side of the Heavenly Father, the Almighty Yahweh, until that day of judgment comes, uh, until the day of the Lord, when the Messiah shall come. Wherever every knee shall bow and every tongue shall finally confess. And until that day comes, we've been sent to give you warning. Uh, and to and to plead your cause on behalf of Yahba Shimyasha as the mouthpiece, as his mouthpiece, the servants of prophets, uh, beginning with the elders apostles on down, the men have been laboring before us, young, uh, young Young as our young brothers who just coming in. Okay. This is a. Uh, no. It's so lucky. No, because I've been, uh, you know, through uh, through the chat group. Well, I've, been, uh, I've just listened to this uh, this uh, song by uh, Bob Marley and the the Whalers, uh, calling the Exodus, right, bringing us back to the scriptures. Because all these things that we see in the world, you're gonna always throw in uh, the spiritual uh, experts in into into whatever you may be doing. All uh, right, as it says in Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, wisdom is more moving than any emotion. Any motion. Okay. There are always spiritual things that, that we're supposed to be discerning. Okay, within this world. Uh, but the ultimate spirituality comes in what? In the scriptures. Yahweh, Parashim Yahushai, Parashim Rakakatash. Alright. That righteous uh, vibration being imparted upon us, the whole full elect, Lord willing. Uh, it says in Psalms, uh, cast not the way that the Holy Spirit away from us. Okay. It says a uh, man, uh, it says uh, Bob Marley and, uh, and the Wailers. These are some, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, okay. I'm just going to go to the first few lines of it. That's it. Uh, it says, men and people shall fight you uh, down when when you see uh, uh, the most size light. All uh, right. And it exactly goes back to what? Ezekiel, the, the third chapter. Okay. And we see this happening. Okay. For, for all you scoffers are going to say, you know what, Bob Marley was a heathen. He's not, he was never a heathen, man. All right. You can listen to the soul. Okay. But the man, the man expressed when he was singing. This is an Israelite, indeed, the spirit bear witness. You can feel the soul. The connection, so to speak, when that when this man was still alive and sang. All right. But we know the end of those who were, who were in, in this in, uh, in the music industry. Okay, the Lord says, "What in Amos take away all these songs for you? I'm not gonna take, I'm not gonna take and listen to them." Anyway, this is Ezekiel. The Then go to the last verse. Okay, so Ezekiel 3, 27 says, But when I speak unto thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt, and, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, power, he that heareth, let him hear, and he that forbeareth, let him forbear. For they are a, a rebellious house. Speaking unto you, Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. All right. A lot of you, you know, listening to the warning right now. You taking this as a joke? Alright. If anything, you you supposed to be happy and be glad. 
You know what? Yahweh Hashem Yahshai is actually merciful, man. He's now calling us unto repentance. Now, you're not doing that. You say, oh, hell no, man. I, I want to see Master getting saved. I want to see Esau being saved. You want to save your word, the worst of the scum, the worst of the enemies. You want to see them getting de deliverance. That's the problem. That is the problem. But the Lord says what? The words that he shall put in our mouths, we must speak them. What are you going to listen or what are you going to forbear? Because well, this is a, a rebellious house. We already know what we have sound, uh, signed for. Okay, this is uh, second verse 15 and 3. All right, it says, I behold, I speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in their mouth, saith the Lord. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Okay, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let none, none, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, nor speak against thee. Because the two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, you always came across came across the prevalent servants of prophets, and 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 end up what and ended up are refusing. To turn back and to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahusha every single time, there is nothing new. That's why the Lord says, "What well, He has sworn by Himself that ye shall not enter into His rest." And we know for a fact, Isaiah 55, uh, verse from 10, 11 to 11, also says, "What well, His way shall never, as it has never had done, return unto Him void." Two thirds are going to be cut off and die. No matter what happens, because what, well, because of of what of the your incredulity. The sin of disbelief. This is the many people. Okay. Let me go to this again. Says, uh, men and people will fight you down. Uh, men, these men of Israel and the people, the nation. Psalms eighty three. They're going to fight us down. And we see that happening right now. All, right. All these different organized uh, different Christianity de denominations. All of them are against, the, are against us. Okay. And mainly great millstone. And those who, who are what? Who are teaching the exact same life doctrine. All right. And these are the men. These wicked and reasonable men. It says in Thessalonians. But we must be safe from the Israelites. Those who have not, not of faith. All right. And the people, the nations, Psalms, the second chapter, these heathens are still raging. And to make it worse, we got men of Israel who are in disobedience, who are still, okay, unto this day, 2018, the year of prophecy, okay, grieving the Holy Spirit, the Harakakotash, okay, still resisting the Holy Spirit, Harakakotash, in 2018, the year of prophecy. Still fighting us down, nailing, nailing tooth. Right? No, all these nations can make it. They're not even concerned about about these Hamites, but the Hamites, the Jephites, uh, Ishmaelites. They are concerned about the main top enemy, the head of the serpent, which is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the master. The wicked that the Bible speaks of in Job nine and twenty-four that that's, that that this earth has been given unto. Covering the faces of the, of the judges thereof, but through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yashah, that wicked has been revealed right now. And he's been consumed by the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yashah's mouth, his mouthpiece, his servants, the prophets. And soon the return of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Psalm 6 was Isaiah 63. Okay. And the brightness of his coming shall be destroyed. Men and people will fight against you. Down, will uh, will fight you down. Uh, it says when you see uh, uh, the Most High's light, and we see this happening. Now tell me if Bob Marley, uh, he, he, he was he's an Edomite. Any Edomite can can bring these li li lyrics like these to be just soulful. The spirit is bearing witness, man. Okay. Second address, 15. 
verse 3 says, says, I fear not, says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in, an, in their unfaithfulness. Behold, all right, that's the point. All the unfaithful shall die in unfaithfulness. Revelation 22 verse 11 says what? If you're righteous, hey, be righteous still. If you're wicked, hey, be wicked still. Okay. Because the cup that is already uh, filled up, it can no longer be, ref we are be refilled, so to speak. Okay. He came for those, to, a physician, the physician, the ultimate physician, Yahweh Hamashiach, he came for those who are who were wounded and ill. Uh, and two thirds are what? They are walking in, in their own lust. Okay. They, don't, they, don't, they do not need any form of help. Because uh, they are all caught up in this Christianity bullshit nonsense. Worshipping sweet lover boy CJ. A fucking devil. It says, it says when you see uh, uh, yeah, the Most High's light. Okay. And who is the light of the Most High? The, the righteous hopefully like these are the ones. These are the light. Uh, verse 14. Verse 14. Matthew 5 and 13, I'm sad there, says, says, ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his saviour, uh, but, uh, but if the salt have lost his, his saviour, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out, and to be, draw, and to be trodden under foot of men. And that's what's going to happen to the two thirds. They have lost that, that what? That salt. Right, they've lost it. They've lost it. Lord willing, we'll be of that number, man. As the hopeful elect, okay. As we put him on as the elect, okay. Verse 14 says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be healed, cannot be hid. Okay, we are the light of the world. Those who do what, as the Lord Yahweh Shai says, Why well, well call ye me Lord, 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 and do not the things which are commanded of you to do? Those who are doing the things that, is, that are commanded of Yahweh Shai Mashak to do. Matthew 10 and 5, going only unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, making full proof of, 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 of the ministry that has been granted unto us by grace from Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay. In season and out of season, bringing up this word, okay, until that the day of our change comes, warning them whether they forbear or whether they hear. Okay, these are all the things that have been commanded of us to do, and that is part of the glorious light. Okay, Matthew 5 and 14 He are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be healed. Cannot be hid, neither do men light the candle and put it under a bushel, but on the candlestick, and it giveth light unto them that are, that are in the in the house. And the ones that are in the house are what the, the Bayafta Wada, the hopeful elect, the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. These are the ones who are gonna see this light. These are not the ones who are gonna be rebelling, okay, and grieving the Holy Spirit. No, it's not, not going to happen like that. Verse 16. It says, Let your light shine before men, that, ye, that, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. And our Father is, you, is Yahweh. Okay. In the name is only begotten Son, Yahweh Shaha Mashiach, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Okay, so we let in this this what this light light shine on the highways and hedges through these epistles, these videos, uh, until the final day of change of, of of our change comes. Okay. Until that day comes, we're gonna have to do this work. Okay, until when? Until the famine of the woods comes in. Until that until that day, 
we're gonna we just gotta have to let this this other light shine we are the light of the world our Philippians you know what John you know before I go to Philippians just get says John John Saint John so like if it's Saint John chapter 1 all right verse 4 because well, Yahweh Shai is the light of the world I says this is Saint John 1 and 4 as he said, ye are the light of the world, they, you know, in the book of Matthew, the fifth chapter. Let's see who's the originator of this light. Where does this light originate from? All right. This is St. John 1 and 4 says, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The life in who in Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, it says in Corinthians, everyone that is in Yahweh Shah HaMashiach becomes a new creature. All right. We no longer walk in darkness. Some things we're even ashamed to speak of, as it says in the scriptures. And all light says, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. The same thing is happening to darkness. Two thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, you're still in darkness. You are unable to comprehend the light. Because you're in darkness. Deuteronomy 28 says what? It says, in the day you shall grope as in the night. Right. There is no hope for two thirds except for death. Right. That's the only solution out for two thirds. For you to become a sacrifice, an unrighteous sacrifice that is. But in the kingdom, you're gonna come back in your right mind. But in this time around, the Lord says what? In Isaiah, says Jeremiah, when he says, "What well, the Lord has said unto me, to not walk after the ways of these people." We are separating ourselves from all you nation. Okay. And A. The elect are separate from the nation. That's that's just the fact. St. John 1 and 4 says, in, N says, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. All right, verse 7, jump to 7, verse 7 says, And the same came, you know what, it says, verse 6 says, There was a man sent from the Most High, whose name was John. The same man for a witness, to bear witness of the light, which is what Yahweh Shah Mashiach, that all men through him might believe. All right, just like, it says, He was not that light, but he was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Right? And this new world that you like the coming into is what? A world of repentance. A world of mercies from Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. An opportunity to repent and to seek the face of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. Our power Bashim Rakakotash continually until that final day of change comes. Until that day comes. That's the faith that we have. And that is a gift pursuant to the book of Ephesians, the second chapter. This is a gift of the Most High. It is not of our own selves. Right? It is not of our own selves. All right. It says that men and people will fight you, will fight you down. When Yah, it says, when Yah see uh, the Most High's light, all right, and we see that happening, uh, we see that happening right now. Go to F Philippians, cause well, cause this light that they see, all uh, right, Saint John was at the chapter, the third chapter, all right, it says, it says their deeds were what were wicked. They did not want to come to the light. It says this is a condemnation for the light that's come into the world. Men love darkness rather than light. But those who have repented, the whole food elect. This is the light that they see. And, and two thirds and the rest of the world are coming against this light. Most rebellious. That's why Jeremiah the ninth chapter says, Look, man, it says, if only if I could get away from these fucking niggas, these fucking assholes, these fucking specks. Okay? He, he was crying, man. 
It says, Only if in the wilderness there was a lodging place for me of wayfaring men. Imagine. And we see that, man. This is part of the, the bitterness when he starts uh, settling in. Alright. So Philippians 1 and 4. It's like 15, 14. Alright, there's a Philippians 1 and 15. It says, That ye may be blameless and, and harmless, the sons of the Most High, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and a perverse nation, among whom ye shine as light in the world. We are shining right now. Uh, as the whole full elect, this word of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, the true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, the ultimate wisdom of the past, the future, the present, of all the entirety of the whole entire existence is being brought forth into the light. And if you are not righteous, if there is no if there is no single ounce of righteousness left in you, you're gonna rebel against this light. Because your own works, your deeds are evil. Philippians 2 and 15. That ye may be blameless, harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation. It doesn't say his nations, because well, this word is only unto the twelve tribes, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's where this main message, this main gospel is addressed to. Whether they're going to listen or whether they're going to forbear. And the rest of you nations, we're just telling you future judgment that is pending upon all of you. A thousand years of captivity, hardcore bondage under the rulership, the direct rulership of the Hamashiach, Yahabashah. The one you know is Jesus Christ. His name is Yahabashah Hamashiach. For a thousand years, and al alongside the so-called white man, which is Esau, Edom, then he's going to be eradicated of after a thousand years. Among whom you shine as the light, as lights in the world. The real ones were truly illuminated, uh, the, the real and the true Illuminatis, so to speak, in, in, on the right hand side. Not on the left hand side, is the elite, the, the Oppenheimers, the, the, the Rothschilds. All these different heathens, these 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 are backing wicked, uh, demonic, Edomites are uh, backing families, okay? These El Elmakites, no, in righteousness through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the heavenly Father, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, Bashem Rakakutash, the true light. Right. Says, uh, says, uh, let me tell you if you're not wrong. Well, everything is all right. Says, so we're gonna walk. All right, we're gonna head on straight. Uh, there's nothing else. What does it says in Corinthians? Uh, what does it say? The scripture there in Corinthians it says, what it says, the most I set up last the apostles. As it was appointed us unto us unto death. Right? It says through the rose of creation. You know what? It says, it says, it says, let me tell you if you're if you're wrong, if you're not wrong, well, everything is alright. We don't care about your opinions. We have a more sure word of prophecy. We have a more sure word of prophecy. Alright, it's the book of Job. 13 and verse 13 says hold your peace let me alone that i may speak and let come on me what will we don't give a fuck except we don't give a fuck what happens because we got a more sure word of prophecy all right we are fully persuaded in our minds there is nothing bigger than this. There is nothing above, beyond this. This is it. 
We are fully persuaded. As the scripture says, well, be unmovable, unshakable. Job 13 and verse 13 says, Hold your peace. Oh, you fucking scoffers, man. Every single last one of you. You gainsayers. All of you. Hold your peace. What well, it says in Joe West says, Hold your peace for the day of the Lord is at hand. You don't even fucking see that. Because you're busy running your fucking mouths. You don't see the prophecies coming to pass. These proxy wars, these uh, these sanctions, these nations ditching the dollar. You don't see all of that because you're busy fucking running your mouths. Hold your peace. Job chapter 13 verse 13. Hold your peace. Let me alone that I may speak. And let, and let come to me what will. Or uh, Jeremiah 28. 8 and 9 says, well, it says when, when these prophets, when you want to be speaking, whatever they be prophesying, they be saying, they be proclaiming, they be prophets, prophets are uh, professing, should it come to pass, and then shall you know that truly Yahweh Shai truly sent those prophets. Look at the works, look at the fruits that, that the men have been bringing up through the years. But it's fine. Scripture says, what says, then shall they know that the prophet have been among them. Let us be a lovely song right now for the time being. But very soon, <laughs> the Lord says, well, I will mark when your fear cometh. Okay, desolation upon desolation. It says all these things, whew, hey, you're going to see it in that day. You can bet, okay, on it. This is it. There's nothing that's going to come after this. This is it. The most I have set up the apostles last. The Hebrew Israelites, this is the truth. This is the ultimate wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the, of the universe, of the Heavenly Father, the past, the future, the present, the eternal knowledge, the eternal might, wisdom of the of what of of the of the supreme creator of all things so we don't care what happens the scripture says what is it as it is written for thy sake we are killed all the day long so let come what comes man all right let come what comes Oh, I says, says, let me tell you if you're wrong. If, says, let me tell you if you're not wrong. Well, all right. It says, everything is all right. The scripture says, why in Corinthians, all things were, were good unto all those who fear Yahweh, Shai. You can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. It says, so we're going to walk. All right. Through the roads of creation, we the generation, through the, it says, tread through great tribulation, through much tribulation, confirming the souls of the, of the saints, that through we, through much tribulation, shall we make it into the kingdom. All right. It says, so we gonna walk through the roads of creation. Right, and these are the roads of creation. All right, it's a Deuteronomy 32. Verse 32, verse 7. <sighs> verse 7. It says, remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy fathers, and he will show thee thy elders, and they will tell thee. Uh, this is the, the what? The roads of creation. The Mosai says what? 
uh, the spirit of the prophets are subject unto the prophets. So the same prophets who have been of old have been leading through through the spirit of Yahweh Pashmah Hashem being imparted on them. The same one, the same order had to be reestablished. Malachi the fourth chapter, Elijah the prophet, the prophet coming back, uh, which came as John and Yahweh says what he already came and he must come. The second time around, he came. The other last time he came into the uh, Elijah the prophet came in the days of Yahweh Mashiach preparing the way. The same thing he did in this lifetime as who as other uh, Bivens, uh, Abba Bivens, he came preparing the ways, laying the foundation, preparing the way, going on down, passing down to one to the other apostles of great Mosul and the others on down. This is the road of creation. One sound doctrine, one power, one Lord, Hamashiach Yahweh one baptism, okay, one spirit, the road of creation, the Mosad does not change. He always dealt with order. Nothing ever changed. Changes with Yahweh Numbers 23 verse 19. Have you ever said something and he never made it good? Hell no. This is the road of creation. Out with the new, in with the old. The good way of doing things is coming back in a, in a great fashion. Alright. This is a glorious light of this is the glorious light of the kingdom. But it's not revealed unto many, but unto a, a small, a small remnant, a big voice to a small audience, as a, one of the elder apostles have uh, been saying it. Okay. Deuteronomy 32, verse 7 says, Remember the days of old, consider the years of many generations. Ask thy fathers, and I will show thee thy elders. And they will teach thee. Isaiah 13 20 says, What? Though the Most High give you the bread of adversary, that yet shall what? Uh, the eyes, yet yes, shall that thine eyes see that teaches. A word, a voice shall, 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 shall say within thee, Walk ye. This is the way. This is the way. Don't turn to the right. Don't turn to the left. Because well, this is the old path. The road. The Asian road of art of creation. There's nothing past beyond this. This is it. Job chapter 8 verse 8. For I inquire, I pray thee, of former age, and prepare thyself for the search. It says, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers for we are but of yesterday and know nothing because our days upon earth are but a shadow it says shall not they teach thee and tell thee and utter words out of their heart all right and the heart is what the mind and the mind is going to be what is going to be of the spirit of that is going to be imparted upon great men okay the men of old of renown Men who are what who are worthy of the double honor, who are ruling well, whose fruits through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rakakatash resting upon them, as the scripture says, by their fruits shall we know them. Not referring okay to the carnal mindset of men's opinions okay but being ruled and having the but 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 uh, by being ruled by the spirit of Yahweh Shai, having exercised their what their senses in righteousness 
having what the spirit of prophecy was that Revelation 19 and 7, the spirit of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, it is the spirit of prophecy. Still doing the work. As the says, scripture says, what well, as the scripture says in Hebrews, I believe says, the most has not unrighteous to forget your labor of love that ye do minister of of, of, the, of that ye minister unto the saint and that ye do minister. Or you're gonna have to be you minister and you still gonna still you must still continue on ministering unto the saints. And there's only one man well, we have one certain set group of men that you can say so they've been they've been doing that continuously. The order that has been set up by Yahweh, by Shem to lead the flock to the old paths, to the old ways, to the road of creation. The Alahayim from the beginning. Crawling back to the good graces of Yahweh, by Shem till these chains be broken down. But it's all through faith, through the grace of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. It's not of wax. That's why the scripture says, well, why is earth, earth, uh, earth and ashes proud? There's nothing to boast of. Right? The only boasting that we do is that we know Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakatash, and turning our faces continually and seeking mercy for him. Seeking deliverance in his unrighteous amongst this wicked, sinful generation. That, that he may keep us. So we may be found worthy to stand before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. And judge the world. Man. Job 8 and 9. For we are but of yesterday and know nothing, because our days on earth are but a shadow. Shall not they teach thee and tell thee and utter out words of, the, of their hearts? Because the Messiah says, What in Jeremiah? He's going to set up what? Pastors according to his own heart. All right. It's, uh, it says, uh, so we are going to walk through the roads of creation. We, the generation, Yahweh Shai said, what? It says, verily I say unto you, the Matthew 24th chapter, all these things shall not, uh, shall, shall, shall not pass within this generation. So like it says, verily I say unto you, all these things are going to be fulfilled within this generation. This is the exact same generation and all these things are going to come to pass within what? Through the reincarnation. Okay, this is a generation. We have the wicked and the sinful generation and within that we got the righteous a remnant through selection for the, by the foreknowledge of the Most High ordained from the, before the foundation of the world that is, that is going to be saved whatever happens whatever mocking there may be. Whatever you may say, you say what you may say, it makes no difference. The elect are going to be sealed. Revelation 7 chapter is there for a goddamn fucking reason. The elect are going to be saved anyway. So as we are going to walk through the roads of creation, we the generation, Try through great tribulation. The fuck? Okay, the rules of creation. Let's go to this. Is a uh, uh, the rule of creation? This is uh, Isaiah 40. The rules of creation. Okay, Isaiah 48, verse 17 <laughs> says, That saved the Lord, Yahweh. Bashim Yahushai, the Redeemer, and the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord thy power, which teacheth thee to profit, which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go. The old path. This is how we're going to profit 
all these things that we have done they have profited us nothing in mark one of the uh the disciples when yahusha when the beast is fishing they were sitting there all the day long casting their net left right and center left right and center yahusha we told them once cast that net they were like no man we've been doing this for way too wait for all these hours all this fucking day then nothing came up yahusha told them look man cast that net you know what they said? They did exactly what Yahweh told them. You know what happened? <laughs> they said, <laughs> Hey, 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 oh, for this glorious light of this kingdom. Okay. They said, Lord, all this time we've been do what we've been doing has not profited us. Or oh, so to speak, you know, I'm not quoting this out of scripture specifically, it's like here. All right. It was look since all the day we've been spending our, all our efforts on something that does not profit okay you can go and look it up it's like yeah you know for misquoting the scripture you know because all these things are what have not been profiting us but with Yahweh Shah we're going to profit okay we are going to profit if if the most high Yahweh shall be, be with us who the hell can be against us no one This is the way that, well, that we should go. The one path, the straight and the narrow path. Isaiah 55 and 11 says, Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, Yahweh Barashim Yahushar, look unto the rock whence ye are hewn, and of the hole of the pit whence ye are dig whence ye are digged, all right, this is what the role of creation returning unto Yahweh our power this is the this is the path this is the way walk ye in it don't turn to the left don't turn to the right go to the straight to the narrow to the straight gate the road of difficulty there be few there, there be few that are gonna find this this hey there be few that's what the scripture says Few there be that, that find it. Isaiah 51 in, and 1 says, Hearken unto me that fall righteous after righteousness. Ye that seek the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, look unto the rock whence ye are hewn, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. But the problem is two thirds, they're not seeking, nor following after righteousness. That's what that's why the Lord says what? My people have forgotten me days without number. Days without numbers. I know, last scripture. Alright. Because the, po the, the point is what? The way it has gone out. Okay. The way it has gone out. And this exodus, it is only for the elect. Right. And and through the weight of Yahweh Bashmir Shah being preached and being published, Psalms 19, chapter Matthew 24 and 14. And this scripture last the last scripture I'm gonna pull off is that Titus 4, Titus, Titus chapter chapter 3, verse 4. It says, But but after the, the kindness and love of the Mosai, our Savior, toward men appeared. Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of oh, by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. That's why it says, "Why well, faith? Therefore, is the righteousness of the Most High revealed faith unto faith." Our right. Ecclesiasticus it says, "What well, this the faith is was created to them." With them, the work we are what we are faith, faith is was given unto them. We are faithful from the womb. We once knew this, our mind have been stirred by the way of remembrance, and that's just a fact. All praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakakatash, Shalom to the whole elect.
Those who are many, they are way to seek the face of Yahweh Pashmir Shai, seeking refuge and mercy from our power. Double honors unto the elder apostles of Great Mosul, who are worthy of double honors. Shalom.